We need a guest appearance from the other John Stupid. I think you'd have some cool insight into house flipping and architecture. You know, I, you know I'm so glad you asked that because I had some thing. Why don't we do five-story turrets? And I was thinking a living room, right? Like living rooms are cool. What if our living room was 60 feet long by only eight feet wide? Because, you know, you mean you <laughs> so, like, a little bit better. And then like, okay, like people like to live in the trees, right? So like, why don't we put the house 14 feet in the air? You ever think about that? So I could drive my big rig underneath it. Call me buddy from Australia. We're gonna come together with a business plan. John Stupid, good to meet you. Hey, up here in the Northeast, we love these one level ranches, but we don't put them in the sky. John Stupid, nice to meet you. How are you? Yeah, yeah, I put it up 10 feet in the air. <laughs> Why drive into the house and walk in the front door when you can walk up, you know, 10 feet of steps? You know what I'm saying? Right on. Um. Uh, John Stupid has become a member. Hey, that was the smartest. I'm John Stupid. Good to see you. <laughs> hey, your name's John Stupid too? No way. No way, really? Are you kidding me, dude? Your name's John Stupid too? Whoa, I build houses in North Carolina. Yeah, no, I'm the guy who builds them 10 feet in the air. Yeah, 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 that's me. A slide from the second story into the thing. Wee, I'm Italian. John Stupid with the 20 Australian. Hey, John Stupid here. I work my dang touche off making houses all symmetrical. My son, my man, uh, put me onto this stream and you'd be surprised how long those fire alarms will beep before you need to change the battery. Good point. That br that's a really good point. <laughs> you know, I hadn't thought about it like that. It is crazy how long the fire alarms last before you have to change the battery. Man. Uh, Luke F. Thank you for the 25 Australian. I uh, bought a new Renault Clio with my shiny wax, with the shiny wax and the blue, uh, with the real pop of color. But the cat, the cat, he jumped. He jumped and scratched the paint, so I hit him with the shovel. Uh, where do I put the cat now? You put the cat in the... You put the cat in the styrofoam cooler and you dig a hole and he, he, go, to, he go to heaven now. Because he scratched the car. It's a $15,000 paint job. And he scratched it. What am I supposed to do? I snap. I put in the thing, put in the ground. And I say the prayer and then he go to heaven on a light beam. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> he, uh, he in a better place now. He not getting hit in the head with the shovel. We got Cat with the 25. I run a popular Discord bot, Nick. It logs everything. I found out it collected info on those shug on the Thug Shaker Central Discord server involved in the Ukraine dock leaks. How can I monetize this? Sell it to journos? Yep. Oh yeah. Nick, how do you usually handle your Discord? I usually, dumps? when I ever do that, uh, good question. <laughs> Great question. I'm glad you asked. I have always got, <laughs> I put them on eBay. I write on a little piece of paper, files for sale from the Ukraine. And then I sell them on eBay. John Stupid, good to meet you. Good fellow hacker <laughs> in here. Right on, my man. Excellent. I have a good answer for that because I'm John Stupid. And people say, oh, he's probably going to give me a stupid answer. Uh, sometimes a stupid answer is the best answer. <laughs> Shit. McCune? Oh, I know what he's saying. Oh. This guy? Should I say it? What he's saying? No, I, I got say? it. Okay. He's saying something. Uh, After my cat go heaving in the light beam, my FBI budgie's inside my home in Fall River, they go poo on the Clio. I wanted to tell you I was thinking the same thing. All right. <laughs> I had a pet cat. All right. <laughs> and he came down the stairs and I said, what am I going to do next? I'm going to bring him to the pet smart. Nope. I bring him to Target. John Stupid, good to meet you. Yeah, I'm a home builder out in North Carolina. I put houses 12 feet in the air. You ever heard of them? Just kidding. Probably didn't. Anyway, I got a yellow Ferrari parked outside. I think I'm pretty right side up in it. Anyway, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, I know what you're saying, you. bro. Thank you. It's kind of just like in the corporate. If you're working in a... This is a little tip. Here's a weird tip. If you work for a, a, a publicly traded company and you don't want to quit your job, you tell them you have an alcohol problem and they have to send you to rehab. That's kind of the, that's kind yeah. of like a little unsaid thing. You have to say I have a drinking yeah. problem. Work is making me drink a lot, and then they have to send you and they have to give you your job back. You have to you have to do that. Okay. Just throwing that out there. You heard it here first, folks. Um, yeah, they can't mess with that. They they want to run by all the rules. They want to play all the games. They want to steal all your money for that shit. Guess what? I have a oh. drinking problem now. Oh, I'm drunk. <laughs> uh oh, I drink too much. 
And it's because of you. Yeah, I don't care about railroading my career. I totally know I'm an HR nightmare. Don't care. I'll live with that. Send me to rehab and I'll take three weeks off pay. Thank you. Fucking multi-level marketing women. Yeah. Like a psychopath. Like trying to sell me leggings. Yeah. Like from Facebook Marketplace. So yeah, tell your mom to have a drink, take a seat, smoke a cigarette, and look out the window, mom. You're crazy right now. You need some ice on the back of your neck. I need a quick MDE tip or skip. Just giving thanks. Uh, my house is a mess and mommy hid the cleaning supplies under the floorboards. I'm ready to completely gut the house to find what I need, but I don't want to damage it. Maybe it's just time for a cigar. Yeah, it's just time to take a seat. Just time to sit down, sit down and have a nice cigar. <laughs> she hid something under the floorboards. You want to rip them all out? She hid something under the floorboards? The cleaning supplies under the floorboards. I'm ready to gut the house. Get out of here. My mom used to do that. <laughs> John Stupid, nice to meet you. Yeah, my mom used to hide stuff under the floorboards all the time. No way.